Although the chemistry lab can be a very exciting and interesting place to work, it can also be dangerous and even deadly if proper precautions are not taken. Most laboratory hazards can be averted by common sense and being aware of your surroundings. Always pay attention to what you are doing and be conscientious of your peers. Since your eyes are such a valuable and vulnerable part of your body, protecting them is very important, especially while working in conditions and with chemicals that could cause permanent damage. All students must wear approved eye protection in the laboratory. Your instructor will let you know whether or not your safety gear is suitable for class. Safety goggles that fit to form a seal around your eyes give excellent protection. Acid or base splatters can come from any angle at any time. You may not be performing an experiment, but your neighbors may be. Eyeglasses do not provide protection, so wear adequate protection over them. If you wear contact lenses, make this apparent to others around you by the use of a small piece of red tape on the side of your goggles. Do not wear goggles on top of your head or around your neck because this gives you no protection for your eyes at all. You may find safety glasses unattractive and uncomfortable, but consider the alternative, a life without the use of your eyes. Your skin may get damaged in a chemical accident, but your eyes will be saved by your eye protection. You should come to lab wearing proper clothing. You must wear a lab coat that covers your knees, long pants, not shorts, and closed-toed shoes. Flip-flops and sandals should not be worn in the lab because your feet will be exposed to chemicals, broken glass, and other harmful materials that may be on the floor or fall to your feet, so you need shoes and clothing that offer proper protection. Long hair can interfere with experiments and are also dangerous around flames. If your hair can obscure your vision, secure your hair out of the way with a rubber band, headband, burette, or cap. Wear gloves of the proper size and wash your hands after every use. Some of the chemicals are able to penetrate the glove and get into your skin. Some experiments will require gloves made of a different material. Your instructor will alert you if different gloves will be needed. Do not wear your gloves or lab coat outside of the lab, even to the restroom. They may be contaminated with chemicals which could leave harmful residues and can affect you and other unsuspecting people. Even if you do not work with chemicals that day, you should always wash your hands before you leave the lab. Residue from past experiments may be present on countertops, stools, glassware, and other surfaces, so do not assume anything is clean. You may not be able to tell if something is clean or not just by looking at it. Be sure to clean up all spills immediately and inform your instructor or lab tech. If you have an acid spill, use sodium bicarbonate or baking soda to neutralize it. Wipe all surfaces down thoroughly before leaving your work area. Due to the use of flammable chemicals and heat sources such as Bunsen burners, hot plates, and heating mantles in the laboratory, it is important to understand what preventative measures should be taken to avoid a fire outbreak and what should be done in the case one does occur. In order to avoid injury from laboratory fires, always wear snug fitting clothing and lab coats when working in the lab. If your clothing does catch fire for any reason, immediately stop what you are doing, drop to the floor, and roll. A classmate should simultaneously retrieve the fire blanket and tightly wrap the burning area to smother the flames. If a fire should break out in a glass container, put a lid over the mouth of the container in order to smother the flames. If a fire breaks out in the laboratory and it is safe to do so, retrieve the fire extinguisher from its location in the front of the lab. Remove the pin and slowly depress the handle while aiming at the base of a fire. And remember, 
If a fire in the laboratory is out of control, immediately activate the fire alarm and evacuate through the closest, safest exit. If any fire breaks out during the lab, make sure your instructor is notified immediately. Hoods should be used whenever volatile, hazardous, or odorous chemicals are being used. It is always safe to use a fume hood when there is any doubt. The fume hood is not a substitute for personal protective equipment. Goggles, a lab coat, and gloves should be worn when you are working with hazardous chemicals. The window sash should be lowered to the appropriate height in case there is any leaking gas, splash, or even explosion. Always remember chemicals are very dangerous. This is why we always use safety tools to protect us. Because accidents can happen at any time in the lab, it is important to know where the shower and eyewash stations are located. In the case of a chemical burn or spill, the burned area should be flushed with cold water for at least five minutes. If a chemical enters your eyes, go to the nearest eyewash stage. Hold your eyes open and rinse for at least five minutes or more according to the information given in the MSDS. Do not rub your eyes while using the eyewash. Contact lenses do not need to be removed. If a chemical is splashed or spilled on a large portion of your body, the emergency shower should be used. Remove any clothing affected by the spill. Remember, your safety comes before modesty. It is very important to report all accidents to the lab instructor or lab tech right away so they can fill out the proper documentation and future accidents can be reduced. Scientific glassware is an instrumental component and hallmark of any laboratory, but can be one of the most frequent and dangerous hazards associated with safety. Lab glassware is not like glass at home, which breaks with relatively blunt edges. It is made from borosilicate glass, which is so rigid that once broken, shears down to the molecule, making it one of the sharpest edges you will ever find. Not only can the broken glassware cut you severely, but your skin and bloodstream are now exposed to whatever was in your flask. Broken glassware should be swept up with a dustpan and broom, never picked up directly with your fingers and hands. Instead, it should always be properly disposed of into the broken glassware containers. If glassware is broken, immediately inform your instructor. If first aid attention is needed, consult your instructor, locate your laboratory's first aid kit, and immediately visit the student health center located on campus. Proper use of laboratory glassware is also an important safety measure. Labeling all glassware in use ensures that all chemicals can be identified. A proper label includes name, date, and contents written legibly. Remember to thoroughly wash all used glassware so that others may have clean glassware to use. Never bring any food or drinks into the lab. Leave them outside by the door or keep all food and drinks in your backpack for the remainder of the lab. They could easily be contaminated without your knowledge. Most chemicals look just like water. Consuming contaminated food or drink could cause serious damage to your body and internal organs. After entering the lab, place your backpack up in the front of the classroom along the walls or in the corner. Do not place them in the aisles or on the bench top. Chemicals may remain from previous labs that were not cleaned properly. Not only could this damage your backpack, but those chemicals could be transferred to your clothes and sink into your skin, causing a chemical burn. When cleaning your glassware, do not use the air valves to dry them. The pressure could make the glass shoot out of your grasp and break, potentially causing an injury. If you are done using your glassware, let it dry in your drawer. If you need your glassware clean immediately, use the organic solvents found in wash bottles by the waste container such as acetone or methanol. These solvents will dissolve most organic residues left behind and will evaporate quickly. When rinsing your glassware with these solvents, always do so into the waste container, never in the sink. Always make sure all valves are properly closed after using them, especially the gas. If you smell mercaptan, the additive in natural gas, do not panic and check all valves around the smell. Also make sure to alert your instructor. Keeping these safety precautions in mind can help keep the lab learning environment safe for you and your classmates. The threat of injury or death is very real in any laboratory. 
Chemicals are present that could cause burns, birth defects, and many are also carcinogenic. Always make sure to follow all safety rules to keep you and your peers safe from danger. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask your instructor or any of the lab assistants. They will be happy to help.